Hello. Um, in this lesson, we are looking at uh, subtracting uh, fractions. Again, like uh, adding fractions, uh, we got to look at two cases. Um, case one, when both fractions have the same denominator. And case two is when two fractions have different denominators. Uh, let's look at case one first, uh, fractions with the same denominator. Um, in this case, to subtract two fractions, all we need to do is uh, keep the denominator and subtract the numerators. For example, if you want to subtract uh, 2 out of 11 from 5 out of 11, all we need to do is uh, keep 11 because the denominators are the same, we keep it. And then subtract the numerators, 5 minus 2. And 5 minus 2 is 3. So our answer will be 3 out of 11, or 3 11. Um, so all we did, we kept the denominator and subtracted the numerators. Now case 2 is we, if we have different uh, denominators. If we have uh, different denominators, there is uh, multiple steps um, which we need to take to be able to subtract. Um, because the denominators are different, we need to uh, make them the same. And that new denominator will be again their lowest common multiple, the lowest common multiple of the denominators. And then we write each fraction as the uh, new fraction with that denominator using uh, the concept of equivalent fractions. Uh, let's look at an example and uh, explain this further. So find um, 5, 6, minus 3, 7. As you see, we have different denominators. 1 is 6, 1 is 7. Our first step is to find a common denominator. That common denominator will be the lowest common multiple of 6 and 7. Then let's write the multiples of 6. Multiples of 6 are numbers that start with 6 and um, the next numbers are found by adding 6 to the previous number. So 6 plus 6, 12, 12 plus 6, 18, 18 plus 6, 24. So we start from 6 and keep adding 6. And these are a set of um, numbers which are multiples of 6 and uh, it goes forever. And the same way to find the multiples of 7, start with 7 and keep adding 7. So 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, and 49. And the lowest common multiple will be the smallest number that occurs in both sets of numbers. In this case, 42 is the first number that we can see in both sets. So 42 is our lowest common multiple, which is also is going to be our uh, common denominator. So in other words, each of these fractions has to be written out of 42. So first I've got 516. 516, I'm going to write it out of 42. But what my numerator is going to be, again, um, I got to see, okay, I already got 6 and uh, I have to make it 42. And uh, that um, will be 6 because see what numbers we need what number we need to times 6 by to arrive at 42 and that is 7 so 6 times 7 is 42 then similarly 5 also needs to be times by that number which is 7 so whatever number we times the denominator which was 7 we need to times the numerator as well. So 5 times 7 is 35. So that is how we get to the new fraction. And for 3 on 7, 
Again, our denominator is going to be 42, because 42 was the lowest common multiple. And uh, then I get, we got to ask ourselves what I need to times 7 by to arrive at uh, 42, and it is 6. 7 times 6 is 42. Then I need to times the top also by 6, and 3 times 6 gives me 18. Now we got the two um, fractions with the same denominators. It is uh, easier to um, it is easier to uh, subtract. So 35 over 42 minus 18 over 42. Now these denominators are the same. I write it as my new denominator, and all I need to do is subtract the numerators. So 35 minus 18. 35 minus 18 is 17. So the answer is 17 on 42. And uh, when I'm subtracting uh, 3 sevenths from 5 on 6, my answer is 17 out of 42. Thank you for your attention.